you what I hear about the NBA and such. But anyway, Beeline, he's going to replace Larry Drew, named coach after Tyrone Lue was fired. Lou coached the Cavs since 2016, led him to a title, and then was fired two years later after the LeBron-less Cavs got off to an 0-6 start. Yeah, the, the touches of LeBron James are still there. And also, Cleveland being a Big Ten town, you can kind of see where maybe they might consider a Michigan coach that others would not. Who becomes the Michigan coach? That becomes very intriguing. Hmm. Talk about that maybe in the future here. Anyway, uh, but I, I found that to be uh, really... Yeah, that, that's a big story, obviously. Uh, by the way, why the Lakers couldn't get anybody to coach them, it's pretty interesting. It, it's pretty obvious. Nobody wants to work with LeBron James. Because it's going to be LeBron James that's running the team. I don't care if he's Red Arbach. There's a name from the past. If you're, you know, talking about LeBron James who wants to earn a billion dollars as a pro athlete, who's the investment in? Oh, LeBron doesn't like you? Well, goodbye. Look, back in the day, the Pittsburgh Penguins were run by Mario Lemieux. He didn't get along with Scotty Bowman, greatest hockey coach of all time. They won a Stanley Cup. It got to be where Bowman, the coach of the team, was not allowed at practices. Or at least he didn't go to them. Such was the friction. It was only a matter of time before he'd go somewhere else, and that was Detroit. And he won three Stanley Cups there. And then Mario Lemieux did not win another Stanley Cup. Not until he himself became an owner. Sports Radio. I think it's important to be that. I think that you've got to be somewhat in the the and I know that this has been a, a very criticized statement when it has been said in the NFL and people get in trouble for it. But is it the inmates running the asylum? The idea is that our pro athletes, I mean, look, our NBA players, the inmates. I mean, is the NBA a prison? I would think not. So I get that. But yes, uh, there is that. Qu what is the role of the coach? It's also this thing, what is the role of the manager in baseball now? I mean, do they have online? But regardless, uh, John Beeline will be the new Cavaliers coach. You know, with the Lakers, why did it take him so long to find one? Nobody wants to work with LeBron James. It's that simple. And again, you know, oh, the player, he's too powerful in the NBA. Maybe, but also maybe. You know, LeBron James has more followers on Facebook than the Lakers as a team do. Consider that. In fact, LeBron James has more followers than any North American uh, sports franchise. It basically was, I mean, I'm talking like 1960 or so. It basically, maybe the coach would decide what players would be on the team. And for that matter, I think that, well, I was thinking about this. I, I would say that if it came down to LeBron or a Lakers coach on who was the last cut, yeah, probably would go to LeBron now that I think about it. I mean, I, I'm theorizing that. You've got to keep the investment happy. It's the way it is in pro sports, obviously. Is there anything wrong with it? It's a different culture than certainly college sports. I think college sports should be more pro player. I'm appalled that they don't, they're not uh, required to report injuries. I'm absolutely appalled by that. Anyway, just looking at all this at uh, Beeland, but that is kind of intriguing where you have, you know, Lakers, they hire a nobody as a coach. Takes them a million years to find one. They don't want to work with LeBron James. Like I said, I mean, you know, it's not the... It's not unprecedented, as I said. I mean, you know, a, a Bobby Lane or a Norm Van Brocklin type of quarter.
14 year old and trying to recruit. Yeah, what is more? Email? I that's debatable, I guess. Also, basketball, college basketball could be getting some rules changed that Rick Barnes, head coach of Tennessee, might just like. But before I get to that, I wanted to have a mention here. And uh, why is the XFL getting all sorts of attention lately? Have you noticed this? The XFL is getting tremendous amount of attention on sports talk radio. And so, you know, we're in the middle of baseball season. We got hockey playoffs. We got basketball playoffs. I mean, we got, you know, hey, look, Devin, you know, uh, signed with the Steelers. Bush signed with the Steelers. Murray signed with the Cardinals. Still not guaranteed number one starting job, according to Cliff Kingsbury. Yeah, right. We're not talking about, we're not even in the Premier League playing right now. You know, combat sports. NASCAR, it's all going. But there's a lot of people say, the XFL, let's talk about if that'll make it. And I don't necessarily, it's not. Okay, it's not going to make it. work in pro sports the league owning all the teams it doesn't even work when one owner owns two teams they tried that with arena football last year a two and ten team won the title think about that sounding like mcnulty on account of stopwatch I and mean, john rich is going to be directing this show shortly okay but the thing is i think is that the xfl recently You know, you know, here's the thing out, out of it WWE is. I can't even tell you who the champ is in pro wrestling. Maybe that means I'm out of it in terms of pop culture. But whoever it is, it sure is not, you know, Hulk Hogan or Steve Austin or Chris Jericho or somebody like that. I'm trying to get more contemporary. It certainly is not someone like that. And you start asking yourself, then wait a minute, WWE is struggling. Why in the world... Paying, remember, that's one of the things that did in the AAF. But still, it's intriguing, as I mentioned. Now, the one thing about the XFL, it's what Caleb Calhoun said last week. Now, what if the XFL starts trying to sign? When it comes to sporting events, they got a minor league hockey team. That's it, in Hershey, not even in Harrisburg. 
You could say, what about the stadia? That, you know, I mean, uh, 10,000 seat football stadium used for the high school championships. Maybe that's not worth the XFL. Or is it? What if you pay or ask expensive prices for the tickets? Make it elite. And then that's a market that you would say, hey, nothing else is going on. If you can get some. I'll tell you what. is going to